Order! Order in the court. I, I'd like a hot fudge sundae, please. Oh, you. Friday. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Friday zone. So much to see. Who will we meet? It all happens magically in the Friday zone. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by... Riley Physicians, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Riley Physicians. Learn more at siphysicians.org slash pediatrics. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television Stations. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by... WTIU members. Thank you. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Luke. And I'm Maddie. This episode is chock full of good stuff, Luke. Oh, yep. We're talking cake, candy, mm. Mm, desserts, and sugary sweets. And first, let's start things off with a sweet little song on the Friday Zone <laughs> playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, good to see you. Hi, Felix. Hi, Felix. Well, so I had a friend. His name is Ben, and he had to go to the dentist because he had a cavity. What is a cavity? Well, a cavity is when you have a hole in your tooth. It's from the bacteria in your mouth. It eats away at the sugar that's on your teeth, and oh, it can no. also erode and cause a hole in your own tooth. You can get holes in your teeth? Yeah, you can, and they're really bad because that causes your teeth to become really weak, so then oh, when you're no. eating, they can break. So that's why you have to go to the dentist so he can fix it for you. Oh, and, and what does the dentist do for your teeth? 
He puts a filling in it so that fills the hole so then your teeth can remain strong. Oh, so if you end up getting cavities from all the sugars, the dentist can fix it. That's right. Yep. But there's a way to prevent it by brushing your teeth. Oh! You should brush at least twice a day and for a full two minutes. Oh! Well, Rachel, I don't have teeth, so I guess I won't get cavities, but they might, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You also want to make sure that you brush all sides of your teeth, so make oh. sure that you get the outsides, okay. and then the insides, and on the sides, and then don't oh. forget about your tongue as well. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, can you brush my tongue? Yes. Ah! <laughs> that kind of tickled. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Christina. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. I was fed up. Man, I had enough. Cause my school day stunk, I wanted to go home And what's more, I forgot my lunch When I finally got home, I asked my mom I said, yo, moms, what's for dinner? She said, son, I made your favorite Beets and chicken liver I said, mom This food deplorable It tastes so horrible my day's been awful and now it's gotten worse. I'm just so angry, I think I'm gonna burst. Now I gotta face my hunger and my strife. Cause my terrible, horrible, deplorable life. Well, she didn't like that, I guess I should have known. Cause I went to bed without my supper. Yeah, she didn't realize that my life was bad. She didn't know how much I suffered. I thought the joke's on her, cause I have my candy stash So I wasn't all that stolen Till I opened it up, and to my surprise My candy had been stolen No! This life's deplorable! What? It tastes so horrible! What? Uh! My day's been awful and now it's gotten worse I'm just so angry, I think I'm gonna burst Now I gotta face my hunger and my strife Cause my terrible, horrible Deplorable life. Man, your life is terrible. terrible life. Cecilia and Ainsley are here to share an action packed catapult you can build right at home. You'll need a small shoebox, a couple pencils, some rubber bands, and a plastic spoon. And of course, some ammunition. In this case, marshmallows. First, connect the pencils with rubber bands to form a T-shape. On the long end, attach the spoon. Connect a couple rubber bands to the short end of the pencil. Then, poke the pencil T through the box near the opening up towards the front of your catapult. Attach the rubber band to the back of the box. Voila, a simple shoebox catapult. Pull back the arm, load your projectile, and fire away. Experiment with different box sizes and pencil positions to see what works best. A tasty project that takes the idea of a food fight to a whole new level. Thanks, guys. In the Friday zone. Friday. Welcome back, guys. I'm really enjoying this whole catapult idea oh, by hitting Luke with some. Oh, ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> hitting Luke with chest. some marshmallows. Oh, that one and then it backfires. Get one in my myself. mouth. See if you can get one I'm in my trying, mouth. I'm trying, but it doesn't go quite. Uh, oh, close close, 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 close. Ow! Well, Manny. Well, I'm sure it's a lot of fun to uh, hit me with the marshmallows. It is really fun. I actually set up a better game for us over there. Come what on, I'll show you. Hmm. Grab your catapult. I don't trust them. Get the marshmallows. Let's go, let's go. All right, check it out. <laughs> we have sugar cube castles. It's like some ancient ruins over here. <laughs> it is some special ancient ruins. I have my own catapult, as you can see. Are we going to battle? Made a little bit differently. Yes, we are. Um, it's got uh, clothes, pins, and spoons. And not Popsicle a box. sticks. That's a little bit easier to make than this I one. I think so, but this one is a little bit complicated. But I'm really skilled, so it was easy <laughs> for me. What we're gonna do now is put these to the test. Okay. These are your castles. I want. Okay. These are my castles. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. And we are going to battle. Battle to battle it out. the end. To the end. Wait, when do we start? Do we uh, have to count down? I don't. I guess you can say go. 
Wait, you gotta put yours behind your camera. <laughs> There's no room. Yeah, sorry, not my fault. Ready? Go. Oh, ow. <laughs> In the box. Booyah! Oh, no. Booyah! Fire Go. me out! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you're trying to, Maddie, you're I trying think to these, hit me. These clothespins work, for, there's a good shot. Hey, don't. I think the clothespins one worked pretty well. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think the clothespins, this one doesn't work very They're well. I'm unhappy. Springy. Oh, so, yes. Just give me a second. <laughs> Yeah! Beat that! <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep on catapulting, oh, and I no. think you guys should check out some more sweeps on this Friday Zone a field trip. Friday right. Zone Where's field my... trip. Hey! I'm in the <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with my girl Olive, and we are at Three Dog Bakery in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Olive, oh, you smell that? Something smells good. Let's go check it out, come on. All right, girl, let's go. You ready? Come on, let's go, let's go. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Taylor. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so uh, three dogs, this is great. How long have you been here now? We have been here for about 12 years. Okay. Actually, the three dogs that started us are Dottie, Gracie, and Sarah. So this is where the name comes from? Yes. Okay. Um, that's the three dogs. Gracie there in the middle. She uh -huh. was a deaf and blind Great Dane. Oh, um, wow. She was a very, very picky eater. So yeah. the owner handmade all of her food and all of her treats and found out there was other dogs like her. So started selling stuff out of his garage uh -huh. and then decided to open a store. All right, so these are the treats. These are the treats, um, and they're all human-grade ingredients, so if you'd like to, you could even try so one. So I can eat these, You okay? could try yeah, one. Do you guys ever uh, snack on these while you're at work? I can say that I've tried just about everything we sell. Sometimes, she gets a little <laughs> hungry, right? Can you, uh, can you guys show us how you make these? Yeah, of course. Cool. All right, I'll, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> Hey Ellie, what you got cooking? Uh, we're gonna make some ruffles today. Okay. Um, so basically, it's like a lot like a truffle uh -huh. um, dessert, but we call them ruffles for dogs. Right, right. right. Um, no chocolate. No, right? chocolate. no chocolate. We only That's use carob. Uh, we do use applesauce Ooh, and cool. water to yeah. make the mixture. Uh -huh. uh, this particular one is carrot cake, so there is Ooh. actual carrots in there. It's my favorite. We've already pre-made the frosting, okay. so. And these are all natural ingredients. All natural, very simple. All for good dogs. things for your pups. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can so I help you? Yeah, absolutely. Can I just grab some? Yeah, get in there. Okay. <laughs> and then right. you just kind of want to like smush it together with your hands. That's awesome. So you're dipping the entire uh, cake batter ball mm -hmm. into the peanut or the coconut or the carob. Okay. And you want to make sure that it's completely covered. Okay. And then you just kind of um, roll it around in your hands to make sure it's a complete circle. I hate to ask this, but... Are I, you hungry? I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten today, guys. Should I try one? Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Three Dog Bakery. <laughs> Pretty tasty, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. I mean, I'm sure if I were a dog, I'd be enjoying this a lot more, but I took a really big bite. I shouldn't have done that. Cool, Ellie, thank you so much for You're showing us welcome. how you guys make these. That's awesome. It's got some good flavor, huh? I think she likes it. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Hey, everybody, I'm Audrey, and I'm at the IU Science Open House, and we're gonna go see if we can handle the pressure. Let's go. I've got some friends, Lauren and Claire, here. Lauren, what do you know about pressure? I don't really know much. Me neither. Claire, do you know anything about pressure? Nothing. <laughs> and I don't know anything about pressure, but let's go try the experiment and find out. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, guys, Virginia's going to tell us a little bit about what pressure is all about. So what's what's going on here? We have an empty can, okay, it's aluminum, and we fill it with a little bit of water, okay. okay? So what happens to the water when you heat it up? What happens? Um, smoke comes out. Smoke? But that's 
that's more like steam and so we'll we'll consider that a gas we basically have a hot plate we have a little bit of water in the can and before we heated it up there was water and then there was a certain area of air when we heat up the water molecules the water molecules start to move around very rapidly and they form steam within the can we take the can and we flip it upside down the steam that's in the water reverts back to liquid because we're cooling it down okay, okay. so we're going to see what happens because we have pressure all around us and so we can't feel it because we're pretty much so used to it. Right. And so there's pressure inside and there's pressure on the outside. When the pressure on the outside is stronger than the pressure on the inside, it's going to cause sort of a vacuum and cause the pressure to condense the can. Oh, okay. So the pressure is just so strong, it just crunches it, right? Right. You're going to take the can and very quickly put the top of it in the water. So it's going to cool that down. And then it's going to sort of create a vacuum and water is going to shoot up in there. But it's also going to condense. So it needs to be fast and swift. Girl. One, go two, on. go. <laughs> nice. Okay. In the Friday zone, Friday. Everybody loves a sucker. You know, they say one is born every minute. Actually, it's more like thousands every minute. See for yourself as we travel to the Dum Dum Factory in this Ooh. Friday Zone investigation. All right, let's go. Right now. Everybody, I'm Audrey and I'm here with Friday Zone Investigation. We're in Bryan, Ohio at the Spangler Candy Company where they make over 10 million dum-dums a day. We're gonna go check it out. Hey guys, we're inside now and we've got Stacy here and she's gonna tell us what's going on behind us. Dum-dums actually start um, from a mixture of sugar and corn syrup. So back behind me you'll see the kettle where those two ingredients start to form the candy part of the dum-dum. Dum-dums are made. Woo! In the Friday Zone. Friday. 
Hello everybody, my name is Sam Bartlett and today we have another stunt from the world of stuntology. And I think you're gonna like this one. It involves straws. Really, one of the great things to play with, the best all around things to play with is a straw. And this stunt, straw popping, will never let you down with how satisfying it is. Just do straw popping, simply take a straw, grab it at either end, like this, pinch the straw together, and then quickly twist the straw around itself, not around your fingers, but around itself, trapping air inside the straw, grab it with your two fingers at the other end, and flick with your hand to release the air, popping it like a tiny balloon. Now, I make this look kind of easy. It's a little bit of a challenging maneuver. Again, grab the straw at either end, like this, trapping the air. It has to happen quickly because you can't contain the air in there long enough. It escapes. So we're gonna wrap like this, and then grab it with your fingers over here like this, and whoa, that was a good one. I love the stunt so much, I'm gonna do it one more time. Yeah, that wasn't that great. Sometimes it's great, sometimes not. Good stunt. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're going to make quick chocolate pudding. <gasps> Who doesn't like chocolate, chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding! That is my favorite! I'm so excited yeah. then, because we're going to make it for you today. It takes a little bit of time in the microwave, okay. but it's worth the wait, I promise. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay, I love okay. chocolate. Okay. Well, first, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Okay. That's easy enough. Yeah, yeah. Just how, how, how much? About a third of a cup. Okay. Just pour that in there. Okay. And I yeah. use regular sugar for this. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. And next, I'm going to use some cocoa powder. Oh. Cocoa powder? Is that how you make it chocolatey? It is. Yeah. But without the sugar, this is really bitter if you oh. eat it by itself. So you've got to add it to the sugar. Okay. Yeah. It's a good combination. Heather, Heather, yeah. did you know that chocolate comes from the cocoa bean? It does. Yeah. And that is in South America. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Felix went there one time. Really? Yeah, it was hot. I yeah, bet it yeah, was. Yeah. It's near the equator. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really hot there. It is really hot there. Maybe maybe in, next time we instead of a microwave, we use the equator. Yeah. Oh, good one. Okay. And now I'm going to use a little bit of cornstarch. Okay, yeah. Two tablespoons. Because this thickens up your pudding a little oh, bit. Otherwise, does... you just have hot chocolate. Oh. What does cornstarch taste like? It's not very good by itself. Yeah. But it's really good with cocoa powder and sugar. <sighs> and a little bit of milk, but we're not ready for the milk yet. Okay. And I'm gonna stir it up. Okay. Just like this. Ooh. It's really easy. Yeah, yeah. And it smells good already. Oh, yeah. yeah. It smells like chocolate. It does. Yeah. And now I'm gonna add in the milk. Okay. And I'm gonna stir it while I pour it. Okay. Do you have to do that? Well, so there's no lumps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless you like lumpy pudding. Nah. 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 Yeah. So I'm adding in the milk, okay. and I'm going to stir. Yeah. Oh. It's really easy. Yeah. yeah you could do easy. this. Anybody could do You could do that at home. Anyone could do it. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to yeah. stir it again. Okay. And I'm going to add the rest. Okay. That looks good. It does look good. Yeah. Oh, it, it, yeah. it looks more and more like pudding. It is just yeah. like pudding. And when we cook it in the microwave, it'll thicken with the cornstarch. It's okay. kind of like science. Oh. They work together. <gasps> Cooking is science. It is science. Ah. It's like science in the kitchen. Yeah. It tastes better, though. A lot better. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for about two and a half minutes. OK, two minutes. And then I'm going to check it and stir it. And then I'm going to have to put it back in. Okay. It takes about five minutes, but it's oh, worth the wait. That's a long time. It is a long time, but, but we'll but have to. But pudding is good. I can, I can wait five minutes. Good. And this is so much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm excited. Well, I'm going to check it so it doesn't oh. bubble over. Okay. It's perfect. <gasps> just right. Perfect. And when you take it out if you need to, uh -huh. use a hot pad or an oven mitt just to be safe. Ooh, looks good. It's thick. Yeah. It's chocolatey. Yeah. 
and just give it a stir to make sure there are no lumps left. Okay. Can, can I try? You can. You know, I'm, I think I might put it in a little cup for you. You want to try it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be better. That'd be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to try things when it's done, but sometimes you have to wait just in case it's oh, too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to burn your mouth. I don't want to burn myself. No. Yeah. I'm going to put it in this little dish. Oh. I'm just going to pour it just okay. like this. Oh. So nice and chocolatey and yeah. smooth. Just right. And after it's cooled off for a minute, uh -huh. it's safe to eat. Okay. You want to try some? Uh, just, just a little bit. It's really good. <gasps> That is the best chocolate pudding ever! I'm so glad you like it. And it's really good to put a little whipped cream at the top yeah. and a cherry. Yeah. It's really easy. I'm glad you like it. Super easy. <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. You can write it down or, or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's Super simple. Hi, it's me, Bubs. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Yes, that sounds like me. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time. Hey, hey, Dad. What kind of cake makes me wish I didn't eat so much cake? I don't know, son. What kind of cake makes you wish that you didn't eat so much cake? A stomach cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just get, just get. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here in the Friday Zone. If you've got an idea for the show, visit our website at fridayzone.org. You can also watch videos, play games, and see behind the scenes photos. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Next week. Next week. Night, Marshmallow. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Riley Physicians, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Riley Physicians. Learn more at siphysicians.org slash pediatrics. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television Stations. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members, thank you.